All right, in a perfect world, we'd all have expensive teleprompters and they'd be small and portable and foldable and we could just take them everywhere. But we don't live in that world. So we also don't live in the world where we can memorize all the lines that we need to do to the camera. Now, most of the work that I do here for you, I, I ad lib. I kind of know in my head the things that I need to say. And sometimes I'll put some bullet points down and I'll put them near the lens of the camera just so I can have something to refer to. But most of the times I can just wing it. But I've also been doing this for years. Now, if you have some lines that you need to do, let's say this, you make a cue card. Okay. Now, this one you can see that I've typed in and you just use any word processor, Google Docs, whatever, and just bring in your margins so it does a, a narrower uh, page to it. And then you can just put them on one of these little index cards here. You can also handwrite onto the card and uh, sometimes you have lots to say. Let me show you how I use uh, index cards as cue cards as a as kind of my version of a teleprompter because I like to change shots all the time so I don't need to have all this rolling text going by when I'm out shooting in the field I can say one or two sentences and then change the shot you know go somewhere else in the room or in the studio and then do another couple sentences and then keep changing the shots you'll probably notice that if you watch the MS Pulse show with the hosts they just do short little lines, but every time they change a line, the angle changes. So you don't notice it as the viewer that uh, this is, it's like start and stop. Now you just like, oh, it's a nice, easy flow to it. So let me show you how I use that. Let's say I've got a little handwritten cue card right here. You're going to need a little bit of clear tape. So I got my clear tape. And if I was shooting this on, say, my phone, all I would do is just uh, put some tape on, on the one edge there. There's my, my cue card. And then on my phone here, I'm just going to uh, tape it just so the center of what I'm saying is just below my lens. You can see my tape didn't even fit well there. It's hanging up. Do you see how that is just below it? Okay, so now if, if I was to do that, um, I would I'd be able to film myself and say those lines right into, as I'm reading it, it's going to look like my eyes are looking right into the camera or really close to it okay what you don't want to do is be reading lines down here hello my name is brad flickinger you know people it, it, it's got to be really close okay now let's talk about so that's how to do it. you just you just tape it onto your your phone your smartphone and just make sure you don't have long wide because you don't want someone reading over to here reading <laughs> across the, you know you don't want that you just want it really close and narrow uh, close to the lens and if it's a lot like look at this one but you see what I did there? I just punched a hole in it. And this one I have to actually use on my MacBook. So I'm just going to get some tape on it. And I'm just going to put it in the bottom corner down there. And what I'm going to do is I just line up that hole. Uh, where are you at there? Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, you're there. Okay, so you just got to line up that hole. It takes me a little bit to get it in there. With... Okay, I would do a better job, obviously, if I was really doing it. But then I can I can do this. Hello, my middle school vipers. This is uh, this week. I've been thinking a lot about green planet word of reducing. Okay, so I'm reading the lines right off of there, and it looks like I'm really looking at the the lens there. So so that's the famous little trick of just punching a hole in it and then putting that hole over your lens so you can get a really good um, a cue card off of that. You will notice also in my cue cards that I write right or left on there because sometimes I need to put a picture in picture and I need to put something over the shoulder of the person. So I will make sure that I, you know, I move them uh, to one side or the other so that I have room for that uh, other part of the shot later in editing. So you got to really think when you make your cue cards uh, how to do those so that you uh, that it all makes it easier in editing. But any, in any of that's how we do it. If you can wing it, it's more natural okay so if you just know the three or four things you need to cover in this in this segment just wing it um, but if you if you want to use cue cards I'd use them all the time still so there's no shame in that uh, but that's how to do it that's that's how I do it good luck